Hello guys, my name is Leonie Baiha and today I'm here to talk to you about short-term constraint and the problem they pose on the stock market in the United States. Without further ado, let's begin by an outline. I will start this presentation with an introduction followed by some statistics. Then I will give you my proposition, meaning some solution the implementation of those solutions, some benefit of this implementation, the feasibility of the implementation, and finally, I will conclude. Short sale refer to transaction whereby the seller is not the owner of the stock that is being sold. Short sale constraint limit both type of trade and thus reduce the allocation and informational efficiency of the market. Limiting short sale driven by risk sharing simply shifts the demand for the asset upward and consequently its price. However, limiting short sale driven by private information increase the uncertainty about the asset, as perceived by less informed by investors, which can reduce their demand for the asset. When this information effect dominate, short sale constraint actually cause asset price to decrease and price volatility to increase. Moreover, short sale constraint can give rise to discrete price drop accompanied by rise in volatility when price fail to be informative and the uncertainty perceived by an uninformed investor search. Short sale constraint can have a greater effect on efficiency. Informational efficiency will be reduced in the presence of short sale constraint, specifically prohibiting traders from shorting reduce the speed of price adjustment to private information. That option can reduce the cost of establishing short position, thus the existence of tradable option can affect the magnitude of price adjustment to private information. According to Shen Shark and Stark, Stock with unexpected increase in short interest tend to exhibit negative abnormal return for a short period around the announcement date. When the sample firm are divided into when the sample firm are divided into stock and without tradable option, not non-option stock closely mimic these results, but option stock do not. More importantly, the further report that these short-term negative returns are less negative if the firm has tradable stock. Short sale constraints do not only affect informational acquisition in the business arena, but also prevent investors from obtaining information concerning the market price. This proposal would pinpoint the effective solution which can help in solving this problem. Some statistics. Short sale transactions have increased in the United States. 17% of the total sale in Colorado was short sale in the second quarter of 2020. Bank of America aimed over 100,000 short sale in 2020. Short sale constraints prevent investors from acquiring relevant information from the market. The information is relevant in improving the profit of short sell trader. Information acquisition also improves the price efficiency in the market. Short sell constraint cause a normal return of about 2% every month. What I would propose to reduce short sell or to eradicate short short sell constraint will be to reduce short sell barrier that limit short selling to encourage traders to engage in short sell transaction. We need also need to reduce the risk of short selling to promote short sell. Then we need to improve communication with brokers, reduce the cost of commodity, commodity in the market to prevent overpricing. Finally, connect investor to seller to, dis to decrease information sharing. Implementation. 
to be able to implement those solutions, some change needs to be done. First and foremost, we need to change trade laws to legalize short sale in all markets. Indeed, short sale in legal is legal in the United States, but not all stock are, avail are available to short sale. You don't have the right to short sale every stock. There are some stock that have restrictions, so it will be really important to remove those restrictions. Then we need to increase data sources of trade to promote information acquisition. And we need to facilitate short sale transaction in the industry. Some benefit of the implementation of those of those solutions. This discovery will benefit traders who conduct short sale transaction. It will help investors to acquire more information by conducting market research and it will prevent overpricing in the market, which indeed is a real problem in short sale. The main problem of short sale constraint is overpricing. Again, those seem like great solutions and one will say what problem can we face when trying to implement those solutions. As we are all aware, everything involve risk in the implementation of new rules and regulation will always be challenging. Some challenge that we can face is the inadequate technical expert who will be able to solve this problem. Not every expert in the stock market have the right knowledge to tackle this solution. So it will be important to involve the right expert then it might be challenging to find relevant data concerning short sale because there are a lot of information out there but it's really important to have the right data finally one other problem i think we might face is short sale has been buy in many stock market in the united states again Earlier, I told you guys that it would be really important to make it legal for all stock because we cannot short sell all stock. So for us to really implement some solution to tackle short sale constraint, we need to remove the law that binds some stock for being, for, for being short sale. So in it, all stock need to be able to be short sale depending on the relationship between the investor, the broker, the lender, the seller, and every party involved in the transaction. The feasibility of the solution. I want to study the feasibility of this solution on four different standpoints. On the technical standpoint, on the time standpoint, on the resource standpoint, and finally on the legal standpoint. From a technical point of view, the advancement of technology bring enough expertise to tackle this problem. And with the right team and the right experts, the right knowledge and the right data, it will be way easier to implement this solution. This project can be achieved within a set time frame with the right team and the right technology. That's why I put technological feasibility first, because we definitely need a right technology. Technology. From a resource point of view, from a resource feasibility point of view, the, the data available need. We have enough data available to conduct a market research. And we need to interview short sale trader because the insight will really be useful to the implementation of this solution. And we need to access the trading report. Finally, from a legal standpoint, short sale is legal in the United States, but it's not legal to short sale every, every stock. That's why one solution that I proposed earlier was to make a law that permit us to short sale every and any stock.
conclude, in a nutshell, this proposal, proposal will help to remove short sell constraint, which investor and trader experience. Trader will now be able to do intensive research in order to determine whether there's overpricing of the stock. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my presentation. I hope you guys will appreciate it and have a great day.